Hi friends, welcome back. I am Ganesh Thakur and you are watching Agri Biotech. Friends, me and my team are back with one more new video from Microbiology. In the last video of Microbiology, we had covered virus. You can watch that by using link given in video description. Today, in this video, we will cover bacteria and its structure, reproduction and some important diseases caused by bacteria. So, watch the complete video and share it as much as possible. So friends, first let's see some information about bacteria. Bacteria are microscopic single-celled organisms that thrive in diverse environment. Mostly all of the bacteria are prokaryotic cells. It can live within soil, air and even in the ocean. Bacteria can be beneficial or dangerous. It can be beneficial such as when they participate in the process of fermentation and that of decomposition. For example, lactic acid bacteria that is LAB employed in winemaking. Or bacteria can be dangerous as they cause many infection or diseases. Anton van Leeuwenhoek was one of the first people who observed bacteria in 1670s and called them animalcules. Term animalcules is derived from Latin word animalculum which means tiny animal. Now have a look on structure of bacterial cell. The entire organism consists of single cell with a simple internal structure. Bacterial cells contain separate and circular piece of DNA called plasmid. This bacterial DNA, also known as plasmid, floats free in twisted thread-like mass called nucleoid. Bacterial cells lack membrane-bound organelles but it contain ribosomes for protein synthesis. Bacterial cells are generally surrounded by two protective coverings. First one is an outer cell wall and second is inner cell membrane. Some bacteria have third outermost protective layer called capsule. Bacterial cell surface can be covered by many long and whip like extension. These appendages are called flagella. Bacterial cell surface are also covered with many short and hair-like appendages called pili. In this video, now let's move toward reproduction or multiplication of bacteria. Most bacteria multiply by a process called binary fission. During this type of asexual reproduction, the single DNA molecule replicates and both copies attach at different points to the cell membrane. Then bacterial cell grows large in size by doubling its cellular content. Once the bacterium just about doubles its original size, the cell membrane begins to pinch inward at the center. Finally, a cell wall forms which separate the two DNA molecules and the parent cell splits into two identical daughter cells. Most bacteria, including Salmonella and E. coli, reproduce by binary fission. Some bacterial species, such as Cyanobacteria and Firmicutes, reproduce via budding. During budding, the daughter cell grows as an offshoot of parent cell. It starts off as a small nub and grows until it attains the same size as of its parent. When these cells matured, it split off and form new daughter cell. In this way, bacteria replicates from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8 and so on. When conditions are favorable, some bacteria like E. coli can divide every 20 minutes. This means that in just 7 hours, one bacterium can generate 2,097,152 bacteria. Now, at last, 
let's see some important diseases caused by bacteria bacteria is responsible for many diseases or infections in humans as well as plants and other animals some of the diseases are bacterial leaf spot crown gall citrus canker potato scab fire blight bacterial wilt bacterial leaf blight of rice meningitis pneumonia tuberculosis cholera and dysentery we will come back soon with one more new video stay with us subscribe this channel and share this video as much as possible you can follow us on instagram facebook and twitter the instagram facebook and twitter link is given in video description box if you have any doubts and suggestions you can write us in comment box we are always here to help you thanks for your valuable time jai hind